I'm on keys and my own coin. Gotta protect this money. Took too long for me to get it. Can't let them take this from me. What's up, everybody? KG here, founder of the InternetMoney.io crypto wallet, coming at you today with a quick and easy tutorial to show you how to connect your internet money wallet on Android, iOS, and Chrome to all of your favorite DeFi applications or dApps. A couple things to note going into this video is recently Wallet Connect has upgraded their tech from version one to version two, or V1, V2. If the dApp you are trying to connect to is still using Wallet Connect V1, the connection from the internet money wallet to the dApp is not possible. And that is true for all wallets that are using Wallet Connect. The dApp has to be upgraded to V2 Wallet Connect, or the connection will not work because V1 is no longer supported. Second thing to note is that this process is exactly the same on Android, iOS, and Chrome, but for the purposes of this video, I will be using an Android device. Always remember, with this as in any issue, trouble you may encounter, or any help you may ever need regarding the internet money wallet, crypto, DeFi, you can always join our community on Telegram for 24-7 help, support from your community. And you can find that by going to internetmoney.io and clicking join our community. Let's jump right into it. Here we are on our Android device. And before we can successfully connect to any dApp, we need to make sure of two things. Number one, that we are connected to the same network on the internet money wallet that the dApp we are trying to connect to is built on. In this case, we're going to be connecting to the internet money buy and burn. And this buy and burn that we're going to connect to, this dApp, is on Pulse Chain. So we need to make sure that our wallet is connected to Pulse Chain. Number two, we need to make sure that the account that we want to connect to the dApp is the account that we have selected here in the internet money wallet. So first to make sure you are on the right network, come down to networks and click on it. And you will see here the list of preloaded networks that come with the internet money wallet. If the network you are trying to connect to is not on this list, all you have to do is click on add network and you can add your custom network. But for the purposes of our example, we are connected to Pulse Chain, and that's exactly where we want to be. Second, to make sure we are connected to the right account, come down to Settings. Scroll down to View Connected Dapps. And the account that's going to connect to the dapp is right here at the top. In our example, I want my account 1 to connect to the dapp where you can see here, account two is connected. So click on account two, and you will see your list of accounts populate here. I'm going to click account one, and now you will see that account one is the account that will connect to the dApp. Next step is we need to go to the dApp. Here we have the internet money buy and burn dApp. And now this tutorial isn't unique for this dApp. All dApps that you're trying to connect to will have a connect wallet button. It may be in a different place, it may be a different color, maybe a different shape, but they will all say connect wallet. And you need to make sure you are on the right chain that matches the chain or network in your wallet. I'm going to click connect wallet. And because this is our dApp, we have the native internet money option. But if that option does not exist on the dApp you're trying to connect to, you're going to want to click Wallet Connect. Now, there are a few things that can happen when you click Wallet Connect. 
if the internet money wallet is the only wallet that's installed on your device, usually it's just automatically going to switch over to the internet money wallet. But if the dApp you are trying to connect to doesn't have that functionality yet, what will happen is it'll, when you click wallet connect, a few options will show up. You need to click on view all, and then you can search for the internet money wallet through there. So we'll click on wallet connect. And you'll see that because this is my internet money wallet is the only wallet I have installed on this device. It pops up the wallet and asks me to connect. I'll click connect wallet successfully connected. You can verify you're connected by looking here and also going back to the DAP, you'll see that we are now connected at the top. Now that we've successfully connected to a DAP, let's look at signing or executing a transaction from a DAP. In this case, we are going to claim on this DAP. I'm going to click claim and you will see that the new transaction request has popped up on my internet money wallet. I'm going to click view. It's going to show me the details of the transaction, including the gas cost. Slide to send adapt. Now it's going to load. I can verify my transaction was complete in one of two ways. I can go back to the DAP and you'll see now that the PLS that was in that option is no longer there. That means the transaction confirmed. I can also go back to my internet money wallet. I can go back to the home screen, click on transactions, and you'll see that the DAP transaction is in my transactions list and the transaction is confirmed. If you wanna go into the details, you can click view on block explorer and view all of the details there. An additional note, if you are trying to initiate or execute a transaction from a DAP with your internet money wallet and that transaction request is not coming through, there are two things you can usually do that will solve the problem. Again, this is not unique to the internet money wallet. This is the nature of connecting wallets to DAPs. In our case, go to settings, click on transaction requests, and sometimes pending transactions will be right here in this section, and then you can follow all the previous steps. If that doesn't work, if the transaction is not here in this section, then what you can try to do is disconnect your wallet from the DAP, reestablish the connection, or you can refresh the DAP itself by refreshing the page or by clearing the cache and cookies. To wrap up this video, I will show you how to disconnect from any DAP that you're connected to. You'll go to your settings, you'll click on view connected DAPs, and you'll see right here from the internet money wallet, you can click disconnect. And to verify that the disconnection has occurred, go back to the DAP, that you were connected to, scroll to the top, and you will see that you are no longer connected to the DAP. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, please join our community, which you can find it at internetmoney.io and click join community, where we are always available for questions, comments, concerns, feature requests, whatever it is you have, we are here to grow and help you learn how to navigate the world of DeFi. And until next time, peace. Got my own keys and my own coin. Gotta protect this money. Took too long for me to get it. Can't let them take this from me.